Hello friends, this is Abhishek Agarwal here and in this particular tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a screw spindle. So on the right hand side, you can see a complete assembled view of screw jack assembly and on the left hand side, these are the images or the part drawings which I have referred to make this screw jack assembly. In my last tutorial, we have covered with the body of the screw jack. So in this tutorial, we are going to, we are going to make a screw, a screw spindle. So, this is a particular figure which I will be referring to make a screw spindle. You don't need to worry about this figure, you just have to concentrate on this figure itself. So, quickly start with the start mechanical design part design. Name the part as a screw spindle. And okay. While making a screw spindle, first of all, we'll make a solid body without any holes. And after that, we are going to make a hole with the help of hole command. And one last thing, we'll be using a tap or rather a thread command to give a thread to this particular part. So quickly select a YZ plane and a sketch. Now we'll proceed with the freehand sketch. After that, we'll use a shaft command to make it circular. So quickly start it from here. Yeah. Don't worry about dimension, just give a approximate figure. We can do dimensioning later. And while doing a freehand sketch, avoid these kind of automatic constraints. It may distort your figure. If any particular constraint is is required we can give it afterwards don't worry about shape it will get better once we start dimensioning it so here we are we have completed a freehand sketch now quickly go for dimensioning as this part is uh, the, thre the thread diameter is 38 with a pitch of 7 mm so we are taking a clearance of 2 mm for the thread so the inner diameter would be 34 it means this part would be 17 mm i hope you understand this thing uh, we have taken a uh, outer diameter of a hole as 38 and inner diameter as 34 so that's why we have selected a 17 here let's go further dimensioning this part would be 11 distance between this part and this line would be 13 distance between this line and this line is 83 now the vertical distance of this line is 10 which is at the 45 degree from the horizontal so make it 45 degree this line also at a distance having a vertical height of 10 mm and distance from this particular line angle from this particular line is 180 minus 45 that is 135 so what else dimensions are required uh, distance of this line from the rota rotation axis is uh, 65 divided by 2 that is 32.5 uh, one more dimension is required yeah total height so the total height of figure is 240 So here we are, we have obtained a complete green figure, it means this figure is completely constrained. So we quickly exit from the sketch, select a shaft command, select a rotation axis and OK. So we, here we are, we have completed with the first step that is a solid body. Now we will quickly proceed for the holes. First of all we will create this hole, for that select uh, first of all we will change the view um, make it a solid view 
we'll select this particular surface area and uh, hold command that is here give a diameter of 12 and depth would be 65 and uh, okay as we have cre as we have selected this particular surface area to create a hole it will accommodate the hole exactly at the center of the surface so we don't need to we don't need to give dimensions to make it at the middle of the surface it will automatically will be in middle so after this hole let's quickly make hole here on this surface we have selected the surface select a hole command the hole would be first of all we have to give certain dimensions that is a diameter hole that is a 10 depth of hole which would be 35 and the type of hole as we can see it is a countersunk type of hole so we have to select a countersunk here and the mode of parameter will use depth and dia uh, we'll keep depth as 5 mm and we'll change the dia of countersunk type that is 12 now come to thread definition our hole will be threaded as you can see here but the thread depth is not 35 it is 30 and uh, yeah thread dia thread dia would be as a hole diameter is 10 we have taken a thread diameter is 11 we have taken 1 mm clearance here pitch would be 1 mm let it be one more thing is here the bottom should be of v bottom so don't forget to select a v bottom here and yes here we are everything seems right and okay so here we are we have created a threaded hole with with a thread of depth 30 mm here you can see from hidden view yes here you can see a v bottom here so after that uh, one more thing is required um, yeah we have to create a thread for this particular spindle so quickly go to tab command we will be using a tab command to create a hole uh, select a lateral surface as this one select a limiting surface as this one uh, select the dimensions thread depth would be as it is 240 minus the height is not given here and the thread thread height is not given here mm. yeah it would be 240 minus 83 plus 3 that is 86 240 minus 86 240 minus 86 select here and the pitch would be of 7 mm you have 7 mm so yeah it seems right we have created a thread with inner diameter of 34 so here we are one more uh, thing is required we have to give some dress of feature like chamfering to this particular part so click select this part go to chamfer give a 2 mm length at an angle of 45 degree click ok so here we are we have completed uh, with the screw spindle uh, in my next tutorial i will be covering with the tommy bar washer csk screw and cup and the nut so keep watching my video in case of any query and clarification uh, please comment below if you find this video worth please subscribe to my channel as well as uh, hit like and uh, if you have any freelancing project uh, you can approach me to my email address that is abhishek.a32 at the rate of gmail.com thank you for watching my video stay tuned